This, though, is Sports Out Amplified with Andile. I am Andile Ngube. The World Cup kicking off uh, today. I woke up early enough to watch a brilliant presentation by the SABC Sport Gang. Vasiwa Ngobo leading Janine van Veik, as well as um, uh, Gloria Brown. We also had uh, Dumi Shompokeka and uh, Aaron Mukwena and, and so many others uh, that came on to be a part of that broadcast. Uh, Anna Monati as well. Also, Anna Monati, um, she was out there as well, and uh, they were building up and a bit of a preview, a bit of a post as well on the games. Two games, of course, played today. We showed you the New Zealand versus Norway. It ended 1-0, the home team holding on there. And then Australia also beating the Republic of Ireland 1-0. So the two home teams winning their opening games. The support was incredible as well. We'll give you updates every single day. I'm waking up at uh, 12 midnight to make it to studio by 1 o'clock for the game that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. It's Nigeria versus Canada. The first of the African nations that plays is Nigeria versus Canada. That's happening in the wee hours of uh, tomorrow morning. So make sure that you do catch that there. It's Nigeria versus Canada. Kickoff, I think, is about 4 a.m. The kickoff is about 4 a.m. Then it's Philippines versus Switzerland later on in the day at 7. And uh, also a little bit later, uh, it's Spain versus Costa Rica. Those are the matches that you can look forward to. Your kickoff, which is what you heard right at the top of the beginning, is in Pomagola. Former Pulguana City, Orlando Pirates, Cape Town City player who is now out of team and was just, uh, you know, telling us about the season that he had last season with Pulguana City, uh, playing every single m- match of the eight matches before the team qualified, of course, uh, um, buoyed by that to the DSTV Premiership. Now we welcome them to the land of uh, honey and milk, milk and honey. A brilliant, brilliant season by Bologna City sees them come to uh, the best league in Africa and definitely the best league in the Southern Hemisphere in the DSTV Premiership where every player, that's why you have Brazilians that come play here. That's why you have people from all over that come and play into this amazing league of ours, which now has released fixtures as well. Bologna City, after hearing the conversation, said, and we, we had reached out to them. And I say this all the time when we speak about a topic, and I'm like, South African Football Association, we reached out. Uh, whoever it is that we're speaking about, Kaiser Chiefs, even in some instances when we've had those conversations, we reach out. And it's not always where teams will come on and say, yeah, it's fine, we want to tackle what's being said. But they did call today, and they said, we want a right of reply. We want to give it to them. The COO, as well as the coach, are going to come on, and we'll have a word with them and clarify and clear the air. That was exciting news, of course, coming out uh, of the SABC about the Premier League. Going to be showing a game, a weekend for the duration of the season. And it's not just, um, you know, D or C listed games. It's some A and B listed games as well. So the very best of the Premier League will be on SABC 3 every single Saturday. Do join us for that one too. 15 after the hour 6. Our conversation today. Uh, stems from a conversation we had yesterday with uh, Mpomakola. If you missed it, have a listen to this. Before we take our calls from Bulgwana City, the COO as well as the coach, have a listen to what Mpo had to say. This is him on what the chairman had said to him. Obviously, like I said, when I came, there was only eight games left, and the team was there on the log. And when I got there, there was a lot of doubt, and I could sense and feel some players were actually on the verge of giving up. You know, and mm. I needed to to wake them up and let them know that it's possible. You know, with eight games left, two points behind the log leaders, anything in football is possible. And I needed to uh, make them understand, but by not telling them, by not talking, but by showing them. Of the eight games, and Paul, how many did you play? I played all the eight games. How much time did you play in all the eight games? I'm trying to paint um, a picture here, but for I those, I started all the games. Yeah. So you started yeah, each started. one of the eight games at since at the time that you got there. Yeah, all the games. At the end of the season, you guys, you know, get the automatic qualification. You come into the DSTV Premiership. What are some yeah. of the conversations then you have with the hierarchy at Bologna City? <sighs> You know, I needed to be honest. I didn't really want to speak about what happened, uh, what you spoke about there. But prior to me signing the short-term contract with Polokon City, uh, the discussion with me and the chairman was that should I help the team get promotion to the DSTV Premiership, then I have a two-year contract waiting for me. And even three weeks into the pre-season, because I started pre-season with the team, uh, three, two weeks into it, I was called into the office to say the chairman has offered you the two-year contract that he promised, and but it didn't have, you know, any figures whatsoever. So I didn't want to find a blank page. So that was the conversation that we had with Mpomakol. I think the two things uh, that stuck out there, 
um, were around the promise made to him if they qualified the team to the DSTV Premiership. He played eight games. Um, he played in all the eight games. He qualifies or is part of the team that qualifies to the DSTV Premiership. And that contract, as promised by the chairman, is offered to him to say, there you go. Here's your offer, as promised. Uh, of your new contract two years is what we're giving you in the biggest league in africa the dstv premiership and he's excited for this and then he goes to sign this contract he gets there the contract is lovely it's got everything in it he represents himself so he doesn't need to take it home and read it uh, he says no i can read it quickly it's a standard quote but as i'm doing that i see that there are no figures on the contract as in what my monthly repu- uh, 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 remuneration is going to be what uh uh, my bonus structure looks like what my sign-on fee looks like none of that there are no numbers i mean i exclaimed even when he said that i said no hold on what do you mean please further explain this and uh, i don't think there was any ambiguity in what he was saying but what a city whom we'd offered to be a part of the conversation then heard the conversation and decided they want to come on and you know we serve this industry that's what we do here we, we, we want to see a better product all around. We want to see happy players and happy owners. We want to see the money flow into this industry and everybody benefiting from it. So when a team calls in and says, Andy, we want our right of reply, our right of response, we have to take their call. So we changed the show around today so we could do exactly that. Tinsi Tema is Bulwana City's COO. She now joins us on the line. Tinsi, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the show. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nguyen, and uh, thank you to your producer, uh, Bratichi, and thank you to the and good evening to all the listeners of Metro FM. We are going to be getting a hold of the coach as well. As soon as he comes through, he'll be joining the conversation because it is the two of you that have been mandated, I'm assuming, uh, by the chair uh, to come and have this conversation. Yeah, so the co- uh, I'm sorry, also be speaking to the coach. Thank you very much. Oh, the coach is here. I see. We, we've got the coach now on the line. Uh, coach Duncan, are you there? Coach Duncan, are you there? Yes, boss. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, the coach now at Polokwane City, which is Duncan Lechesa, and of course uh, we've got Tinsi Tema, the Polokwane City COO. Uh, before we even get into matters uh, uh, that arose yesterday, gentlemen, congratulations! Welcome to the DSTV Premiership. It must be an exciting time right now, coach. No, thank you very much to the viewers. Thank you very much, Daniel. Coach, uh, if you could just move closer to your phone for me so we'd, uh, we're able to, 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 to hear you clearly. Uh, but, Dinsi, oh, oh, yeah. you as well as a COO, congratulations. It was a very hard fought for season. Welcome back to the DSU Premiership. You are very correct. It was a very uh, tough season. And, uh, yeah, as, as I'm speaking to you, uh, we are still excited uh, with regard to our achievement. Coach, well, what, what does the prep now look like for you? What is going on in your camp? What does it look like now as you get ready? Uh, you've seen the fixtures now. They've come out as well. well. What does it look like in your camp at the moment? No, everything, everything is okay. We're trying to get the team going. Uh, as we speak, we're in a close season in camp. Uh, so we're trying to get players to gel the new players, to the old players that we have We're looking forward to the new season. Any new players that you want to share with us uh, that we might be excited to know have joined your team? Well, we've got, we've got a few players, but I don't think it's really proper to, to mention those players because <laughs> uh, we can't. We've got, we've got new players. Oh, exciting. And uh, you, you, you've you uh, observed and you've seen the DSTV Premiership uh, COO. How do you think your team is going to compete? I mean, we've seen the trend in the last couple of seasons. New teams coming in, they do well in the first couple of games and then it's struggle from there. I'm sure you guys have studied that and uh, you can have some sort of way to combat that. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling, uh, my brother. And uh, I'm sure the people of Limpopo are also happy and excited about what we, we did as, as a club. And our plan going forward is to keep the status. And uh, remember, before we got relegated, we were in the premiership for for eight years. Mm. So this time around, we want to uh, extend that 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 time. Uh, probably will be there for forever. We don't want to go back. It's tough. Oh, I wish so for you too. I wish so for yeah, you too. So. But it, but Jens, uh, I mean, we, we've shot the breeze and uh, it's nice to have you back and I hope that uh, this relationship continues into the season when we do need to have conversations with you, COO, or, you know, uh, you, Coach Duncan, or even the chairman. But the reason we're here is because of the conversation that I had here with Mpomakola yesterday. Uh, he's no longer your player, he says. He, he was offered uh, a contract and he declined to sign that contract. You therefore called him to the office and you uh, 
um, let him go as a player. You heard the conversation. I'm going to leave it to you now to say you asked for a right of response, a right of reply. CEO, perhaps let me start with you. What is it that you'd like to clarify uh, based on the conversation we had yesterday? First thing, uh, what Paul said yesterday, uh, with due respect, uh, I'll, I'll say he lied. Because remember, Mpo is uh, remember he's a big name player. Uh, how 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 can you give a player like Mpo an empty an, an empty contract? So that's the first thing. And uh, if ever we did that, it means we didn't respect him. But I'll tell you, we've always uh, considered him a, a, a senior player, uh, one of the players that uh, we have always uh, looked up to to help to to assist to contribute. But there was no way that we could give him for an empty contract. I don't think it has ever happened uh, in Pool One City and Ebru, and I, I don't think it has, it, it has happened in any club. Talk to me how you remember that moment then. You brought him to the office. So who was in the office? Who is the person that called Mpo to offer him that contract? Just talk me through the story as, as you heard Mpo telling it on his side. From your side, what happened when you guys were offering him the contract? I, I'm the one who normally who, 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 who do the contract. If ever uh, we, we gave him a, an empty contract, that person could have been myself. But uh, yesterday when we spoke to him, he could not mentioned the name of the person that gave him that contract. Uh, hence, I'm saying I'm the person who signs the contract, and I don't remember giving a, giving giving him an empty contract. And uh, as far as I can remember, I called him on two occasions to the office. Mm. The first time I called him was when uh, I he was in fact in the company of the other players because I was calling like every uh, all the players, most of the players that he wanted to see in the office. So the first time I, I called him, that's when we, he, he, he in fact, uh, because I was speaking to other other players, and then when 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 he came in, after I, I explained him the reason why I was calling, I called him to the office. Then he just said he wanted to to see the chairman, and uh, uh, we didn't have a problem with that. Of course, he said no. Then that is, if that is the case, then we can call the chairman. Then I, I guess he arranged, he made arrangement with the chairman. But from what I heard is that. He, uh, from the chairman is that he didn't even pitch up to meet him because he was supposed to meet him in Tobek more so that the chairman is, is, is always in Tobek. He only comes to the side whenever there is something that uh, needs his attention. But uh, the second time was when, of course, uh, I met him uh, in the office with the, in the, in the, in the presence of the coach, the technical team members because at that time we wanted him to understand uh, why the reason why we're gonna let him go because at that time we had a, a an end of the year report which was prepared by the technical team which of course they presented to the to the management and we 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 we, we agreed to it because in the report uh, they were saying uh, the Mpomagola won't be part of the of the of the team going forward more so that he was not in the in the in the place I'm so. I'm sure it's, it's a practice all over. Whenever a, a, a player is not in the in the in the coach plan, uh, they normally get released. So that's exactly what we did with him. Okay, cool. Uh, coach, I just want to get your views in as well before we can then, you know, I want to hear your part uh, as somebody who's been brought in here to say, is there anything that you dispute in what Mpo said? Then we can have, you know, the questions uh, that I'd like to, 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 to answer from you, to, to get answered by you guys. But uh, Coach Tachisa, on your end, what is it that happened yesterday or that was said yesterday that you feel was perhaps incorrect? Look, uh, firstly, what Mpo said is not true. He never played eight games. He came when it was seven games to go. Uh, in fact, eight games of the league. And then we had Ned Bank with that. So now, the eight games that he's talking about, he never played eight games. He played seven games. His first game it was against GSA, where he played 70 minutes. The second game was Tax, where he played for five minutes. The third game was La Maxia, where he played for five minutes. JDR for five minutes. Utongat for five minutes. Rovat for five minutes. And Kelly, he played 60 minutes. So, first he never played eight games. Because the first game, the, the, the one that he's talking about, it was Catholic, he never played. He was on the stand. 
Are you sure, coach? I'm sure. I'm sure. I've got stats. I've got stats. He didn't come on. He didn't play 83 minutes. Uh, uh, he didn't come in in the 83rd minute after Marama came out. When? When you play which one? Which when you're playing Kastrick. No, he never played. He never played. He never played Kastrick. It was the first game he was there. In fact, he came before he played. On the 14th of uh, February, we played NetBank. He was still there. He never played. So he played Kastrick. seven games, not eight. Not eight. Not okay. Eight. And in all those seven games that he played, the first one, like I'm saying, it was GFA. That he gave one assist. We scored. We lost three two. We drew with Tag zero zero. Played for five minutes. La Masa won two one. He played for five minutes. JGR we drew two two. Forty five minutes. Utongati for five minutes. We lost one zero. Platinum Rovers won two zero for five minutes. Kelis won four zero. Waited sixty minutes. Mm. Yes. So you, your only gripe in this coach is that he didn't play. Eight games, he played seven games. No, I never played eight games. He, he played, played seven, seven games. games. Yes. Okay, cool. Right. Is, is that it, coach, on your end? That was the only thing that you felt was uh, glaringly untrue? Yes, what he, what he said is not true. He never played eight games. And you must remember, uh, end of the year, as technical team was fit, and we, we checked the stats, we give the reports to management, and the stats will lie, you know. And then we, we felt bad to say, hey, where I'm for will take us to where we want us to go. And the answer was no. And remember, this league is, is very difficult, uh, Andy. Uh, this is a jungle, you know. And it, it tells us if you can't play more than 70 minutes, uh, maybe in PSL where there's room to play, because here there's nothing. You don't have to breathe. You can't, you can't breathe here in, in our league, in the Multiple Foundation League. So he tell us, and we sit down a technical team to say, you know what, uh, we don't think Magwana will take us to where we want uh, as technical team. That, that, that's a bit... That to, to the management. That's, I mean, firstly, let me, let, let, me, let, let me do this backwards, perhaps. Let me go to the COO here. I didn't see, you say that the technical report was given to you, and then you looked at the technical report, and the coach and the, the technical team had said, Mpo is not going to be part of the plans. But this happened after you had offered Mpo a contract. You know, that's why uh, 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 it, it was news to me yesterday when I listened to him for uh, saying that uh, I, I never gave him a contract. But did you offer him a contract? No, no, we didn't. Because remember, there, there's something that you said about the verbal agreement or the verbal contract that I, 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 I don't know of, that we also promised to, to give him a two-year contract. I don't know where, where did, did that come from. So you never ever offered him a contract after the season ended. You guys knew very well that you're going to let him go um, at some point. The technical team, so because you're still part of the preseason team. And what if I say to you as well that um, it's not just Mpo; it's two players. Well, what about Mklongo? If he says the same thing, does that mean both of them are lying? If he says the same thing, no, no. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't want to go into Mklongo's story, but uh, because I'm here for Mpo, uh, as far as I know. We never, we, we never gave him a, a contract after 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 uh, the, the the season the season has ended. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, yes, of course, we 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 call every player, all the players back. That's uh, in, in the middle of June. In the middle of June, remember the league uh, ends in, and even the contract that they signed, they end they ended in June, in the end of uh, at, on the third of June. Yes, of course. So we, we called everybody to be back. So Mpo was part of the... He, he came back because at that point he was in, he was in a play of for one city. So that, that's, the, that's the reason why he came back for... Maybe you say he was part of the the, 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 the prison camp. And then, Coach, to bring it to you, I mean, it's... And I get it. you with the players every single day. But to have a player who's available for seven games, you use him in all the seven games. He starts uh, all of those games. Yes, he plays 40, 50, 60 minutes. And then to turn around and say, you don't think that this is the kind of player uh, that you need in your team that can do... This is a player that you relied on, that you made sure played every single game that he was available for. Yes, Andy, but uh, but football, the third one, uh, it's what I didn't expect from Po uh, to give us the, the, the 45 minutes in the, in the seven games, you understand? We thought Mpo, and in that seven games, he only gave one assist. Now, when we sit down and, and look at it, we say, but we will go. 
you know, must remember the players that, you know, they've contributed. And they're no longer in the team. You know, uh, we talk about Bokaga, who played 26 games. Uh, they've contributed a lot, both players won. But so then, now, co- Coach, why do you keep playing him if he's not contributing? If he's giving you one assist, if he's, then why do you keep playing him? No, it's part of the team, and it was tactical to say, you know what, we need him for, and we're expecting a lot, you and us, from him. So, but if he doesn't give us, so we, we kept faith on him to say maybe he'll give us something, but he, he didn't happen. I'm looking at the team sheet um, from the game against Kastrick. Yes. Um, uh, Sapunga, Masebe, Nikani, Nana, uh, Mapangule, Lekolwane, uh, Matuludi, Nkaki, Marema, Baloi. And I mean, Baloi went on to get a red card, I think, in that game. 70th minute yellow card for uh, Matuludi, Masebe, 45th minute yellow card there. And it's uh, looking at the team sheet here. Makula comes on, Mpo, comes on in the 83rd minute for Marem. In the 80th minute? 80th, yeah, 80th minute for Marema, Mpo Makula comes on. But, you know, the amount of games is neither here nor there, Coach. What I'm trying to get at is, what I'm hearing you say is, here's a player that you were depending on, you thought, all this experience, he's got all of that. He comes on, and according to you, didn't deliver to the expectation that you wanted to. Yet, every single game, you still played him. You still made sure that he was on your, not just coming off the bench too. For majority of those games, in fact, more than 90% of them, he was in your starting 11, coach. That's a bit contradictory to me to have a player that you're saying, I, this guy, I can't believe he's not giving us what we want. He's giving us one assist, but he's on your starting 11 every single game. Uh, and you must understand, it's, it's not only about Makola. Uh, like I said, I made example of Lukwala. He played 27 games, 26 games, and he's no longer here. And we felt that he's not giving us what to expect him from him. And as technical team, yes, we play in the team in that he give us what we want. But at the end of the day, he didn't give us that. So it's not about where I started him the last seven games or what. It's what we thought he's going to give us what we want. But at the end of the day, we couldn't. Then why play him? If he doesn't give in the first three games, first four games, why do you continue that's, playing him? That's what I'm saying. We think in that or thought that he's going to give us that. We, keep, we have faith on him as an experienced, a great player, a great professional, but he didn't. He didn't give us that. Last game, important game, 63 minutes. He uh, Over just six years, over 60 minutes before you substituted him f- uh, from Klongo. This is a game that was so important to you. That th- Those last couple of games were so important. You were putting this man in, in your starting 11. I find it hard to believe, coach, that you're still risking an entire promotion on a player you don't believe in, on a player that you don't think can deliver. Uh, you would have seen him for five games before that. Five con- t- continuous games, you would have seen him and you would have seen that he doesn't deliver for you, yet you're still playing him in important games. Every game is important. And every game that we played, it was very important to us. Like I'm still saying, we thinking that the was going to give us that, and he, he couldn't. Uh, so whether I started in the first five games, we had faith on him, and he didn't. It's the same thing because now, again, it was tactical. Every time we put, when we put, take him out, we put him strong. And Songo gave us the assist, he gave us the goal, the important goal that we needed against Zedia. So it's not about Mpoma Kola to say, uh, Mpoma needs to play or we must play uh, 90, 90 minutes. But if he doesn't give us that, what we must do? As technical team, and we sit down and say, but you are not getting nothing from this man. He gave us what he wanted, maybe the first four, five minutes. Then you take him out and the technical change. But Tinsi, you know, th- th- there's something uh, that, that, I mean, that's bothersome to me. To think mm-hmm. that a player will come onto this radio, given the platform, um, an experienced player, uh, also, you know, a mature player, will come on and blatantly lie, you know, and say, I was offered a, a contract, when you never, ever offered him a contract. You're saying, at the end of his contract, you called him in two two times that you called him to the office. The first time, and the second time when you told him, no, it's fine, we're not going to be with you. What was the first meeting about? No, the no, first no. meeting, yeah. in, terms, in terms of the contract, uh, I don't know about your contract. Enough. No, no, no. I'm asking. Sorry, 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 uh, Coach uh, uh, Duncan. Okay. Uh, I was speaking to to the COO. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. There, C- COO, you, you, you are better able to answer this. The two meetings, because mm. Umpo says the first meeting was to offer him the contract. The second meeting was to let him go. You saying you called him for that first meeting as you were talking to all the players. Why were you calling him that first meeting? Yeah, uh, we were 
uh, uh, it was not only in Pong, whom we called, yeah? hmm. uh, there were other players as well that we called, but when we, when when it was his turn to, 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 to talk to me, as the person who deals with contract, he, he, he said to me and uh, the, team, then the team manager, that he, he wants to speak to the to the chairman. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 Tinsi. I, I, I want to make sure that I understand you correctly. Sorry to, to come in while you're talking. You called him in to speak about a contract. Come again? you saying in that first meeting when he said that he wants to speak to the chairman, because he said that as well. He says he told you he wants to speak to the chairman. You had called him in to do what? We called him like we're, 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 we're dealing with other other players as well. Yeah. Mpo was part of the of the people that we... Have I'm interested in, in Mpo in particular. Why had you yeah. called him at that time? No, at that time we wanted to know if we, if we were to continue with him, uh, what, 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 what would be his expectation? Like we're dealing with other, other, players, as well, other players. But hadn't you gotten yeah, the technical report from the coach already by then? The season had been long over. No, no, at that time, at that time, at that time we didn't have the technical team report. So you were, so you time. call players in to talk to them about their future at the club, when you mm. and the coach haven't spoken about what the coach at and the technical. Time, unfortunately, unfortunately, at that time, at that time, we had, we had, we had, we had, we had the meeting between us and the coaches were still were still coming. So right. that's so when we. So there was no meeting basically on that day. You said to him, "Hey, want to talk about a contract?" And he said to you, "No, nope, I don't want to talk about uh, uh, my future here. I want to talk to the chairman." Let me tell you something, uh, uh, please, because because uh, when the president, I hear you, and I want to hear your story properly. You know what I mean. So if you can just yeah. tell me everything, particularly that first meeting is what I'm interested in. You call the player in, he comes in. What are your intentions? What are you saying to him? Because right now it sounds like a very short meeting. It sounds like he came in and you said, "Hey, uh, what are your expectations?" And he said, "I want to talk to the chairman." And the end of the meeting, I, I don't want to believe that's it. You're you're, you're a CEO. Yeah. You're a man that does this for uh, a living. You take care of a lot of players. I want to know. What happened in that first meeting? Yeah, you know, you know, it, we're, we're, we're actually thanking all the players, especially those that we called in for their contribution, and also to hear what 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 are the expectations going forward. So, but now, like I'm saying, with the point was different because uh, immediately he, he came in after 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 the greetings and, and the, the, the formal uh, formal uh, processes. He, he said he wants to speak to the chairman. Of course, we, we did not. I did not say you can't because I, I needed to respect his decision. <laughs> and then hence I, I said no. That is that the case. Then you can call the chairman, and he will arrange the, the meeting for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did not. He did not teach up for that meeting, which we arranged with the chairman. So basically, in that meeting, did you ask him? Uh, how much? Because if you're saying you're asking him about expectations moving forward, so you asked him basically how much money are you expecting from us moving forward now that we're in the DSTV Premiership? Am I am I correct to understand that? That oh, was the oh, conversation. Yeah, oh, yeah, that is it. Uh, part, partly, part, partly part of the thing that we wanted to check with that was that was, was, was there. But, also but then, Tinsi, if you like, if you're saying you didn't call in every player, right? You called in some players that you felt had contributed mm. that you wanted to offer them contracts, right? Yes, yes, but yes. then, then Duncan, yes. Coach Duncan, make me understand. If Dinsey uh, has, as a COO, calls in a group of players, not all the players, as he says, he calls in a group of players because they wanted to thank them for their contribution and also find out what the expectations are moving forward. Why would Mpo be part of that group of players if you, as the coach, didn't think that Mpo did well enough in the season to require another contract? I think if you, if you listen to the CEO, the CEO said uh, before he can, he, the time he gave him for, he never got the first report. And I don't want to to get involved in terms of the contracts because what is happening? Firstly, Paul, when the guys came, we started our prison on the 1st and then on the 1st of July. So with the two weeks that he's talking about, he never had three weeks with him because obviously he had a contract to finish on the 20th and then one thing it was over the weekend where now monday i think it was on the fifth or fourth where they call him to the office and that's where what i heard he said he wants to talk to the chairman so uh, so for you that. coach on the first day of training am i correct to say that you let go of 11 players players were told that 11 players have already been released this was on the first day of training when they came back from the break is that correct 
we never trained even that day. But did you release yeah. 11 players? Were the players, 11 players told, guys, uh, we're terribly sorry, we're not carrying on with you. 11 players were released, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So then, Tinsi, what I want to know from you is the players that you thought had contributed, that you invited into your office to offer them or to ask them uh, what the expectations are, where did you get that list from if you didn't speak to the coach? How do you as a CEO decide which players do you think did well and invite them to your office? No, Andile. Uh, remember, now and then we speak with the coach. With the coach. But uh, at that time, when we speak to the players, including important to that, at that time, we didn't have the report. We didn't have the report. So then, how did you but call those players? What was the calling of the players that you called that you say to us just now that they contributed? Uh, those are the ones that you wanted to thank. You said, who picked those players? No, the management. The management. Remember. I'm 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 part of the management. So therefore, you guys thought those players with Umpo included contributed well, and you wanted them to thank them, and you wanted to ask what the expectations was, right? What 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 are expecting? What what are the expecting expectations going forward? Yes. If if we're to keep them, if they were, if we're to keep them. Do you see what my but problem is here? When I didn't see is this, let me, let me you are saying to me that. Uh, you're saying to me that you and management thought Mpo did well and you wanted to offer him to congratulate him and thank him and you wanted to offer him or hear what his expectation is moving forward because you wanted to move forward with him. The coach, on the other hand, says, no, uh, there was no future for this player here. He didn't do well enough for us. He didn't deliver like we expected him to do. These are very two contrasting, contradictory statements. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. I don't, I don't, I don't dispute that. But uh, remember, even the, some, of the, the, some of the players that we called. We still have them in the in the, in the team. It's not like everybody that we called on that day uh, uh, has left the team. No, because the the the, 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 the technical team report when it came out, uh, it, it it came out saying these are the players that we we, uh, we, we we should keep and these are the players that we we should not keep. And unfortunately, Limpo said uh, uh, was part of the players that uh, the, the report said we we should not keep. Yeah, it's it's hard to believe that COO because, like I said, you and the and 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 the rest of management had already said that Mpo contributed. Uh, Mpo was th- that's what you saw. You were at every single game. You guys attend the games. You saw Mpo as a contradict, and also with the coach. I mean, coach. It, it's hard to believe that this was a player that wasn't contributing, that deserved the thank you that the CEO was giving him. If you're relying to play him in every single game and you're starting him, yes, you ain't playing him full games, but you're starting him in every single game, which, you know, it, it's, it, it's a hard pill to swallow here. Uh, at, at, at the end of it all, though, you're saying, Mpo, according to the coach, after you'd offered him or asked him if he's going forward with you guys or not, how much his expectations are, after that, you decided he's not good enough anymore. We did not even reach that point to say, how much are you expecting? Uh, is your expectation? We did not reach that point because uh, he wanted to sit with the chairman and, and discuss his, his future with the chairman or I don't know what, 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 whether it was his future or whatever, but he had something to discuss with the chairman. And like I said, we, we, we agreed to his request and then we arranged for, for him to meet with the chairman. When you were asking him what his expectations were, what were you willing to offer him? No, no. Did and you have an offer in mind at all? No, I'm not saying you offered him anything. If he's sitting no, next to you, did you, if he said to you two years, 100 rands a month, you know, what was your guys' expectations for Mpo and uh, uh, at the club? No, we did. We, we did have something in mind. Remember, remember, um, uh, we've been paying Mpo. It's not like we, that. As a club, we're not paying Mpo. Mm. We're paying Mpo uh, an 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 amount of money that he agreed to. I'm sure if we if we were paying that little, I don't think Mpo uh, uh, would have agreed to come and play for Polokwane One City to start with. He's a big name player, experienced, and uh, he has been there before uh, for for a long time. So. Uh, we've been we've been paying him very well. Uh, uh, on that score, I, I'll I'll even request him. Unfortunately, he didn't mention how much we're paying him, but I'm sure we're paying him very well. We, we also looked after him very well. Uh, the the house that he stayed in, uh, a dream bedroom house. So as a club, we 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 did our best. Mm. We did our mm. best. Unfortunately, Coach. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, Tinsi. Unfortunately, yes, I'm, I'm saying unfortunately. We did not even reach to a point where, we, uh, where you could tell, you could tell me 
uh, how much uh, is it that he, he, uh, is he expecting if we are to continue uh, playing for Polokwane City. Coach, I'm a little bit worried about the communication at the club. When didn't you know that there are players that are going to be called into the office to be offered or contracts or to have their future discussed? Nobody said anything to you. So when they called Mpo um, and the rest of the players, and Thong included, to speak about what the expectations are, this is a forward-moving conversation offering these players an opportunity to carry on with the team. Did no one say anything to you about the players that they were calling in, Coach? Uh, like I said, Andy, in terms of the contract, uh, no, I'm not talking about the contract. I'm asking about the players that were called to the COO's office to get offered a future at Polokwane City. Were you unaware of who those players are? Those who have been called to the, to the office for the new season? Yes. Those that, uh, that, 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 that in, in Tinsi, the COO's uh, uh, words, they wanted to thank them for their contribution. Those players, when he called them, he didn't call all the players. He called a handful of players to the office to thank them for their contribution and to start conversations about their uh, way moving forward. You, so you had no idea who those players were. Nobody spoke to you about who those players were. No, I know. I was aware of that. So then if you saw that list and you are aware and Mpo's name was there, as the coach who doesn't think that Mpo delivers, why didn't you say to the COO, COO, not this one. He can't be here because I don't think this one can take us forward as you're saying now. No, like, like the CEO just said it. The report, you got it late. No, I'm not talking about the report, Coach. I'm asking about you. What is, what are you asking me to say Mpo was there in the list and was not there in the list that he's he, he going to be the list. But I'm saying the report became late to the CEO in the office of the CEO to say Mpo will be part of that. You understand? And remember, all the players, you know, we, we've decided money. All the players that play more than 10 games, they're going to get medals. And Mpo was one of them that, you know, we say, thank you, Mpo, wait for the medal and and get the medal. And what I, I hear that, Coach. I, I just think I want this particular question answered. To say, uh, you are doing this thing as if now uh, we've made a mistake in terms of their, their players. For instance, I'll make an example with Anjajal. Anjajal played for Sundowns. They never renewed a contract. Uh, David J. Manchester United. He played most of the games. He's no longer at Manchester United. And I'm not I disputing that, Coach. I'm not disputing now, that. But you, you are saying... Uh, Mpo has played seven games, all the games, but I'm talking about DJ who played most of the games, more than 40 games, he's no longer in Manchester United. AJ is at trial now. But that's, not, but that's not the but conversation, I'm coach. I think you're losing it a little bit. We're not speaking about it. No, no, We're not speaking I'm about not whether he must... Example, when we are but your example is wrong, coach, because we're not saying you have to offer Mpo a contract. We're no, saying no, no. the contract that was offered to Mpo no, and the here and them were not offered contracts. Their contracts were terminated. Here we're speaking about a player who's and he played more than thirty games. But coach, try try, try work with me, coach. What I'm saying is, yes. you're talking about players like Andy Lejali, whose contracts were terminated and and uh, or rather whose contracts were not renewed. Yes. I'm saying to you, we're not speaking about contracts that were not renewed. That's the second meeting when the contract wasn't renewed. We're speaking about that no. first meeting when he was offered to carry on with Polokwane City? No, what I'm trying to say, I make an example because you're stressing me to say, but I was keep busy playing for the last uh, each and every game. Now I'm trying to say to see, it's not only about Mpo, uh, there are big players, there are players that they played more than 30 games and they're going to never renew it, you understand? No, so, I don't understand, Coach, because what I'm saying to you is the, 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 the COO says that Mpo did so well as a contributor to the team, they wanted to thank him even. You, on the other hand, are saying that Mpo didn't do well. In fact, you're saying he was disappointing. So I'm saying these two things don't can't exist in the same parallel. It, it doesn't make uh, sense. Remember, remember the sales got his own opinion uh, to say the way he's look at things that maybe thought Mpo has done well. And it, when he gets a report, only to find that but the technical team said but Mpo didn't do well. That's, That's exactly what I'm talking about. You are part of the technical team. It's not about contradiction. He's got his own opinion to say, no one, hey, maybe in point state, uh, state well, but when he got the report, he didn't do well. But so coach, you, did you... Yeah. Did, did you know that he didn't do well or did you also expect a report to tell you whether he did well or not? You knew that he didn't do well, right? Because you were playing him and taking him out. Am I correct? You you could see it. The technical report didn't have to tell you that, right? The what? I'm saying, for you as a coach, you didn't need the technical report to tell you that Mpo didn't do well. You're the coach. You watch every game, every second, every minute. You're on the sidelines. So you already knew that Mpo didn't do well, according to you. Am I correct? Or did you also need the technical report to tell you? No, 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 no. Uh, it's normal. 
every coach needs to give the report. So waiting for the uh, end of the season to give the report. Now we're still busy playing. Uh, there was no action team for not doing well and in three games to go. And then he said, I don't need to He's supposed to finish the game and he carry on because uh, what I know and I told the management of um, for, uh, the short contract and then we'll see what is giving us. So there was no way when the league is still on and said, but Mpo's not giving us, he must go. All right, Coach, I think you and I, Coach, are not, uh, are not on the same page and I'm going to try to get onto this page one last time. I'm saying to you, yeah. You are the coach of the team. You watch the players every day, every game, and training as well. You don't. You don't need to wait for a technical report to tell you whether you're going to need a player moving forward or not. Because you're the coach, and you know you can see Jorge, this player's contribution is like this, like this. A technical report only further compounds what you already know. Am I correct? No, I'm not correct because I'm still saying to you, I have faith of Mpo. That's how I was playing him. Whether we play today, even next year, I said I still was faith in for maybe Paul give us something. So, so then you're agreeing with me, coach. You're not disagreeing with me because you're saying that you had faith in him to deliver, but he wasn't delivering from what you were seeing. You knew this before the technical report. Come again? You're saying you had faith in him to do better, but you yes. could see he wasn't doing better. You didn't need a technical report to tell you that because you could see it. That's what you're saying to me. No, Am I no. correct? No, you are right, but the technical report is for the management. No, I hear you. I hear you. I'm not going to the technical report. I'm saying... I have to do that. I have to do that. All of the season, I have to give the technical report. I hear so you. I you write the technical report, Coach, right? Sorry? You and your technical team write the technical report. Yeah. So then, Coach... When the COO, because you know, you've watched every game. When the COO says, I'm going to have a conversation with Mpo about his future. Yes, you might have not con con um, contributed to the technical report yet. But you know what's going to be in that technical report. You know where players. Then why don't you say, no, I don't want Mpo because Mpo hasn't contributed. Why do you allow for the conversation with the COO to happen to offer him a future? No, no, no. I don't know the conversation between Mpo and the COO, whether it was about the contract or what. I didn't know. No, Coach, just now you said that they spoke to you and they told you about the teams and the players that were going for that meeting. I, I said the player that everybody was there, everybody was there, and Mpo was still in the, in the, in the, in the group that he needs to finish his uh, 30th contract until uh, 30th of June, and then the report was not given to the CEO by that time. Okay. So I don't know what was the meeting between Mpo and the CEO that time. But what I submitted to say, this one can, can release the few. The group that has released them, I said this one can release them. So the convention, I don't know what was it with the CEO. Um, thank you very much, Coach. I think uh, without knowing you, you answered me there. Uh, COO, how does it work? How do you offer people, uh, how do you have conversations about a future with people without engaging the technical team? You know, uh, we, we now, and, now and then we speak to our players. Mm. And then we don't have to... Uh, get permission from the technical team. We speak to our players on, on a number of issues because, remember, we have invested a lot in them. Mm. So, yeah, that one thing, you don't need to seek permission from the from the technical team to speak to Even them. if you're speaking yeah, about giving a player a longer stay at Bulugwana City, you don't talk to the technical yeah. team? We do. That, that we do. But, like I'm saying, uh, like I'm saying, if you want to speak to a particular player, We'll, we, we, we'll, we'll do that in, at any time without even speaking to or getting uh, permission. For but here we're speaking particularly about a, a contract, a future. Surely that conversation will have gone via the coach. But nonetheless, let's leave that there. Is, am I correct in saying that uh, you said uh, in that meeting that uh, the chairman said that he's not paying uh, sign-on fees? Um, since and, and there was, you know, you asked him to say, "Hey, what is your expectation?" But please note that we're not paying sign-on fees. Was that part of the conversation? Uh, with them, Paul. Yeah. No, we never, we never spoke about anything with them, Paul. We okay. never spoke about that because remember, uh, he said to me, uh, he, 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 "He wants to speak to the chairman." Then I agreed to that. Guys, I really appreciate you. Coach Duncan, I wish you the very best of luck moving forward in the season. Um, I'd love to see Polokwane, like uh, Tinsi said, survive for seasons in perpetuity, you know, to have you guys 10 years, 15, 20 years from now. Um, I look forward, uh, Tinsi, to more conversations on uh, good and great things you guys are going to do. Um, thank you so much for taking our call. Coach Duncan, congratulations. Well done again. I wish you the very best of luck, both of you. I appreciate you for coming on.
Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you very much, uh, Angela. Thank the chairman for me and tell him I'm waiting for him so we can discuss uh, everything else on the team moving forward before you guys get into the league. Thank you so much. I'll do that. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, that's it. That's our conversation. It uh, took a little bit longer than expected. We're going to play some of the voice notes. Uh, hopefully get in a call or two, but uh, you tell me what you think. Ah, ma ah, ma ah, ma ah, ma ah. Ah, di hot man, ah, bama kase. Ah, the lion. Ah, this hot man's a lion. One is saying this, one is saying that. They're contradicting each other. Ah, bo hot man, le ma ka. Ah, bama na ma bo hot man. No, they must know they're lying. The coach even, when you ask him about the other player and you're trying to bring up the other player, what is he saying? Ah, ma ah, ah, bo hot man bama ma. Anyway, it's the one. Only tell me that it's a from Rustin back here again. Look, uh, I'm very much disappointed in your CEO there of the uh, Polokwane City. I mean, the guys should just come out and say they have thought that they would send Mpo going forward, but then they went against that idea as time went by. Now, for him to come on a public, public platform to say he did not offer Mpo a contract is quite disappointing especially of a man who's been given the role of being a ceo it's quite disappointing thank you Andila, good evening i'm listening to your conversation with uh, duncan lachisa the coach of polokwane city you know uh duncan asuka swengela mwana 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 he might not even last five games at polokwane city in the next season in the premiership it's tough there let him pomakola sign another contract man it's moses mkwen of hamukokwaila thank you We've been, uh, we've been kind enough to be given an extra minute there so let's go to Tolisa he's out in Joburg uh, Tolisa good evening sir how are you hey, I'm very cool man uh, very quickly let's go for it uh, I'm very disappointed with how Pulukwane City handled the whole situation because Mpumagona has said he was part of the team that went for a pre-season uh, um, uh, preparation mm. now the coach says Mpumagona was part of the plans for the new season in his typical uh, report mm. uh, issued to the management. And now the CEO says they called him for a good office without even talking to the coach first. Now, it tells me that one of them was not cooperating with each other because there's no way that a, a CEO can call a player into the office while the coach has said in the report that the player in question is not part of the plans. Hmm. Well, it's a uh, good point you're making there, but it's one that I was trying to get across as well. Let's go to Tabo. Tabo's out in Orlando West. Tabo. Ma. Yes, sir. Soccer administrators, politicians, and coaches are never caught in the same line. Today, we listened to administrator and a coach that wanted to become politician. Lives have got short legs. Their lives don't even have legs, and they're paraplegics without the chair. I am disappointed and I wish the West of Pulukwane City, I don't see them surviving because they've already shown us that there's no professionalism. How to have a COO speak to players without the knowledge of the coach? And how do the management discuss contract without the recommendations of the coach? They are all liars. I have lost every single respect I had for any of them, especially Duncan Lichesa. As a former player, he has done so bad in how he treated Mpoma Kola. I am so disappointed with Pulukwane. Tabo, out in Orlando West. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll get an opportunity to speak about this tomorrow again, of course, when the guys do come in for Podcast Friday.